Patrick Faber hung up his government role for all of five seconds and was in athlete mode on the track to compete against season runner Tricia Flores. After his debut, the National Primary School Track and Field Championship was officially open. Around 300 students gathered at the Marion Jones Sports Complex for a day of competition. The goal is to see these students develop into star track and field athletes. We have looked at um, having this truck out here and it has been five years, this truck hasn't been used, hasn't been run. And, and, and um, with me coming on board, I decided that truck is one of the things I believe as Belizeans we are very strong. We always have representation out of Belize and um, we want to bring back the representation here for someone who lives in Belize, born in Belize, and we get them trained up and get them into the Olympics and get them as far as we can take them when it comes to truck. So to get the athletes ready for bigger international meets, the National Sports Council is working towards ensuring that local meets are at world standards. So today, students are running in the 60, 100, and 1200 meters, relay, and doing long jump, shot put, and baseball throw, which the Sports Council hope will see Belize place higher in regional games like Kodikader. Because we didn't do this competition for a long period of time, we went to over all the events and we tried to, to bring them in line with, with the events that you will participate when you go internationally. So we had to revise a lot of them. We have been working very closely with the president of the Belize Athletic Association, Mr. Dion Salalan, so the Sports Council can, can, can whatever program we do can come now in line with the associations and the federation. So, you know, we are not doing something that our athletes will not benefit from internationally and I must say because of that the winners from these from these competition today will qualify automatically to, to, to represent Belize internationally in the next month. What place you came in? First. Did you expect to come in first? Yeah. Today, the Sports Council wants to find stars like Ian Nunes to send abroad to represent Belize next month. And to find others like Nunes, it means a track and field program must be reintroduced in schools. After all, it has been off for five years. But the director of Sports Council says that it takes more than talent. It hasn't been in our school program for five years, but this year, and the minister has pledged that he will support us in getting track up and running because it's a very expensive sport. And I think that is why they have drawn back because the other sports are much more people involved um, with track. It's, it's kids from different schools. So you have to, what you have to do is round them up and see where you get them together. It's a whole different logistic than, than basically doing football or softball or those other programs. So I think that was one of the reasons why they just left it alone for a while. But it's here to stay now. I found out that what has happened is that in Belize we don't do the right thing in getting the kids playing with the right um, balls and different sort of stuff. And um, looking at where, when we host, where Belize was, and going to Honduras and seeding it played, played there, I, I saw that we needed help in getting the, the, the equipments that we really need and playing with the right equipments. Like, um, for example, in football, we play with a number five ball in Belize. Kodikader plays with a number four ball. So right away going to Kodikader, it really, you really go, um, the ball is a bit heavier than number five than the number four. So getting there, it gives you have to retrain with that number four ball. So why don't we get the ball here in, in country where we can start using the proper equipment to get the sports done. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.